The Bermuda Triangle The Devil's Triangle, commonly referred to as the Bermuda Triangle, is a location in the western North Atlantic Ocean where a number of ships and airplanes are alleged to have vanished under unexplained circumstances. Midway through the 20th century, the notion that the region was particularly prone to disappearances emerged, however the majority of reliable sources reject the notion that there is any mystery. The Miami Herald, Associated Press, story by Edward Van Winkle Jones on September 17, 1950, carried the first mention of mysterious disappearances in the Bermuda region. Two years later, Flight 19, a squadron of five U.S. Navy Grumm and EBM Avenger torpedo bombers on a training mission, was lost in the publication of George Sand's little SAC mystery at our back door in Fate magazine. The now familiar triangular area where the losses occurred was first described in Sand's essay, and it was also the first to posit a paranormal component to the Flight 19 tragedy. In the April 1962 issue of American Legion magazine, Flight 19 was discussed once more. The flight leader was overheard saying, We are entering white water, nothing seems right. We don't know where we are, the water is green, no white, according to author Alan W. Eckert, who also claimed that the Navy Board of Inquiry's findings were that the planes flew off to Mars. Vincent Gaddis claimed in an article titled The Deadly Bermuda Triangle published in the pulp magazine Argosy in February 1964 that Flight 19 and other disappearances were connected to a pattern of bizarre occurrences in the area. Gaddis expanded this piece into a book the following year and called it Invisible Horizons. Other authors built on Gaddis' concepts, adhering to some of the same mystical components mentioned by Eckert, including John Wallace Spencer, Limbo of the Lost, 1969, revised 1973, Charles Berlitz, The Bermuda Triangle, Richard Weiner, The Devil's Triangle, and many others. The Gaddis Argosy article defined the triangle's perimeter and identified Miami, San Juan Puerto Rico, and Bermuda as its vertices. Other authors did not always adhere to this definition. The triangle's perimeter and vertices were varied by other authors, and its overall area ranged from 1,300,000 to 3,900,000 square kilometers. In fact, some authors even extended to the Irish coast. Therefore, which writer recorded the accidents will determine which ones happened inside the triangle. In the Bermuda Triangle mystery, Solved, 1975, Larry Kusha maintained that many claims made by Gaddis and other writers after him were overblown, questionable, or unprovable. Between Berlitz's descriptions and statements from eyewitnesses, participants, and other parties involved in the original episodes, Kusha's study found a number of errors and discrepancies. The disappearance of round-the-world yachtsman Donald Crowhurst, which Berlitz had presented as a mystery despite abundant evidence to the contrary, is one instance when important information was withheld from the public, according to Kusha. Another example is the ore carrier that Berlitz claimed had vanished without a trace three days after leaving an Atlantic port, but in reality, it had vanished three days after leaving a port in the Pacific Ocean with the same name. Kusha further claimed that many of the instances that gave rise to claims of the Triangle's mystical effect actually took place outside of it. Often, his research was straightforward. He would look through historical newspapers from the stated occurrence states to uncover reporting on potentially important events like strange weather that weren't mentioned in the disappearance accounts. The marine insurance market Lloyds of London was questioned over whether an unusually high number of ships had sunk in the Bermuda Triangle region during the production of the 1992 Geofilms and UK Channel 4 television program The Bermuda Triangle. According to Lloyds, numerous ships did not go down there. Records from the United States Coast Guard support this. The number of purported disappearances is actually quite minimal when compared to the volume of ships and planes that frequent the area. The Coast Guard has also publicly expressed skepticism over the Triangle, saying that they have obtained and published a great deal of documentation that disputes many of the occurrences covered by the Triangle authors. A Triangle author claimed that all the bodies had vanished, with the exception of the captain, who was discovered sitting in his cabin at his desk, clutching a coffee cup in one such incident involving the explosion and sinking of the tanker VA fog in 1972. However, the Coast Guard took photographs of the wreck and recovered several bodies. Additionally, VA fog perished off the Texas coast, away from the Triangle's conventionally acknowledged bounds. Ernest Taves and Barry Singer, two skeptic researchers, have highlighted how profitable and popular mysteries and the paranormal are. As a result, a ton of information on subjects like the Bermuda Triangle has been produced. 
they were able to demonstrate that some of the pro-paranormal literature frequently contains errors or is misleading, but its authors still promote it. As a result, they have asserted that the market is biased against well-researched information if it promotes a skeptical position and in favor of books, TV specials, and other forms of media that support the Triangle Enigma. The disappearance of an aircraft at sea might be mysterious, but that does not make it paranormal or unexplainable, according to author and scientific paranormal investigator Benjamin Radford who noted in an interview on the Bermuda Triangle that it could be very challenging to find an aircraft lost at sea due to the huge search area. Furthermore, Radford stressed the value of fact-checking, noting that people who failed to do so contributed to the mystery surrounding the Bermuda Triangle. According to one theory, the Bermuda Triangle area has a parallel universe that causes a time-slash-space warp that pulls objects nearby into the parallel reality. Others say UFOs were involved in the occurrences, Author of several books on anomalous occurrences Charles Berlitz provides a list of theories that link the losses in the triangle to anomalous or inexplicable causes. One of the terms used in numerous triangle occurrences is compass issues. Although some people have suggested that the region might contain strange local magnetic anomalies, no such anomalies have been discovered. Navigators have known for generations that compasses exhibit natural magnetic variances in reference to the magnetic poles. Only a few locations, for instance, as of 2000, only those locations in the United States along a line stretching from Wisconsin to the Gulf of Mexico, have magnetic north and geographic north precisely aligned. The general public, however, might not be as knowledgeable and perceive a compass's inherent tendency to change throughout a region the size of the triangle is inexplicable. On January 31, 1880, the HMS Atalanta, formerly HMS Juno, a sail training ship bound for Falmouth, England from the Royal Naval Dockyard, Bermuda, vanished with her whole crew on board. She was thought to have sunk in a severe storm a few weeks after setting sail, and it was thought that the fact that the majority of her crew were novice trainees may have played a role in this. She was rumored to have been a victim of the enigmatic killer decades later, and the search for evidence of her fate attracted global attention at the time. A connection is also frequently made to the 1878 loss of the training ship HMS Eurydice, which foundered after departing the Royal Naval Dockyard in Bermuda for Portsmouth on March 6. The Collier Cyclops vanished without a trace with a crew of 309 sometime after March 4, 1918, after leaving the island of Barbados, resulting in the single largest loss of life in U.S. Navy history unrelated to combat. The Collier was carrying a full load of manganese ore and had one engine out of commission. Although there isn't much evidence to support any one scenario, there are a number of competing theories that blame everything from storms to capsizing to enemy activity during the war. Additionally, Proteus, and Nereus, two of Cyclops' sister ships, were later lost in the North Atlantic during World War II. Similar to the cargoes carried by Cyclops on her fateful trip, both ships were carrying substantial loads of metallic ore. The most likely reason for sinking in all three cases is structural failure brought on by overloading with a significantly denser cargo than intended. On January 31, 1921, the five-masted schooner Carol A. Deering, built in 1919, was discovered hard aground and abandoned at Diamond Shoals, close to Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. Numerous explanations for why and how the Deering was abandoned were examined, then ruled out during the FBI investigation, including piracy, domestic communist sabotage, and the involvement of rum runners. Five TBM Avenger torpedo bombers were part of Flight 19, a training flight, which vanished on December 5, 1945, while flying over the Atlantic. The squadron's flight plan called for them to travel 141 miles, 227 kilometers, eastbound from Fort Lauderdale, then 73 miles, 117 kilometers, northward before returning over the last 140 miles, 230 kilometers, of the exercise. The plane never made it back to the base. Investigators from the Navy determined that the aircraft ran out of fuel due to a navigational error, which caused the disappearance. A PBM Mariner with a 13-person crew, one of the search and rescue planes sent to look for them, also vanished. While unsuccessfully looking for survivors, a tanker off the coast of Florida reported witnessing an explosion and spotting a sizable oil slick. By the time the incident was over, the sky had become stormy. The Mariner had a history of vapor leaks that caused explosions when it was substantially loaded with gasoline, as it might have been for a lengthy search and rescue operation, according to reports from the time. 
GAHNP Star Tiger and Giagra Star Ariel both vanished while in flight on flights from the Azores to Bermuda on January 30, 1948, and January 17, 1949, respectively. Both were British South American Airways passenger Avro Tudor 4 aircraft. Because both aircraft were flying at the extreme edge of their range, even the smallest malfunction may prevent them from reaching the small island. A Douglas DC-3 with the registration NC-16002 vanished on December 28, 1948, while en route from San Juan, Puerto Rico, to Miami. There was never any sign of the plane or the 32 passengers within. According to a Civil Aeronautics Board investigation, there wasn't enough material available to determine the disappearance's probable cause. On September 26, 1955, a pleasure yacht was discovered drifting in the Atlantic south of Bermuda. According to the stories, Berlitz, Weiner, the crew disappeared while the yacht withstood three hurricanes at sea. Bermuda was hit by gusts that were nearly gale force while Hurricane Ione passed nearby between September 14 and September 18. Human error, bad weather, compass variations are all possible explanations for the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle.